Hi, Gemini. Welcome into your reading for the week. Let's see what's going on for you guys the third week of October. Queen of Swords and the Sun. Here you are. You're the Queen of Swords, male or female. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, the sun is Leo. You're really, really happy. Um, you have this feeling that's it's like something went down, something happened, whether this is a relationship with somebody or at work, you feel like you your ships are finally coming in and now you're just waiting for them to dock. Uh, it seems like you got a little bit of luck happening here. You are a little bit stuck, however, from something that did end in the recent past. Maybe it was an affair or a fling. Uh, unclear, but you seem to be in the right headspace for you, and you seem to be pretty damn happy. All right, let's see what's going on. What's coming in towards my Gemini's? I think you manifested something new. A lot of you, this could be a job. This could be work. You and If not, you are trying to manifest something new. Um, I think you're hungry for knowledge. I think you're hungry for something more because I think you've also stagnated. This can also be with a relationship. You might have gotten bored with one relationship and it stagnated. And now you're ready for the next level. You're ready for the next thing because you're challenged to manifest something because you're stagnating here with the Page of Pentacles. You're looking for the potential in something. You're, you're looking at it. Does it have growth value? And that could be in a love ship or at work. Yeah, you're reviewing your options. You're trying to manifest something that definitely has potential for you for the long run. Now, what doesn't Gemini see coming their way? The full Aries energy. You're taking a leap of faith and a risk, and it might be an Aries because there's a fire sign at the bottom of the deck. This is incoming energy. If you're new to my channel, you're my queens, whether you're male or female. The kings for me are the incoming. I only do this for YouTube, not for private readings. They'd be far more specific in your private reading. It's just we're a large audience, and I'd like to see what your energy is and the energy that's coming in towards you or your crossing person. And it happens to be this fire sign. Can be a Leo also, because I see the Six of Wands. I see you feeling successful here. Let me see. It's enough for you to take this risk. I do think that you are going to get a new job. I do think you are going to get into a new relationship, something solid. It, it doesn't sound like bullshit. It doesn't sound like fluff. I see you going for it. I really do. That's some risk you're going to take. Maybe you don't see it coming, but I see it coming for you, Gemini. Looks good. Looks great. Yeah, this definitely tells me you're trying to manifest something different because something was bored you. It, it stagnated. It, it, it's not elevating you any longer. What is the advice here for Gemini, please? You feel stuck. Why? Ooh. Oh. Okay. You're not really stuck, Gemini. It's just saying you haven't thought up of a clever decision on how to get out of a certain bind. I see uh, maybe you feel stuck because the environment you're in that you think it's already hunky-dory. Um, or it could be the quite opposite. The, it's not hunky-dory. <laughs> I see you here already getting into the situation where you're a power couple with somebody. Happy. But you're stuck. Well, this is coming down the pike, Gemini. You're getting into a happy relationship because you're turning into a power couple here with someone. Um, You need to get yourself unstuck. It's all in your head. You're like, no, it's not. This is my reality. No, it's not. You just haven't found the solution yet. Okay? So that's all it's... Well, we're going to clarify and we're going to see what this is all about. Uh, but let's see what the outcome is for the week. I love your reading. Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Someone might potentially be sending you an apology, um, and it's going to make you feel like you're coming in from out of the cold. 
Uh, others of you, this is an invitation of some kind. It's small. It's an offer, but still, it makes you feel like if this is work related, it makes you feel like you're coming in from out of the cold. It, it, it's a lot less of a burden and a load on you, right? Because someone looks like it looks like someone sees you as successful and you know your shit. So this page of cups, although it's small in energy, it still is enough for you to feel acknowledged. All right. So let's start clarifying these and see what's going on for my beautiful Gemini's. What is this? Queen of Swords and the Sun, please. The Chariot and Temperance. So whatever it is that you're doing, it's you're, you're slightly unfocused or, and you're trying to find, actually, let me put it this way, back up. It feels like the wheels and the, and the, and the vehicle of your life have stopped moving. Like you don't feel like it's moving forward. You don't feel an evolution. You don't feel like it's going anywhere. And the reason I'm saying this to you is because you want to, you want to learn something new. You want to not stagnate. You don't want to be bored in a relationship. So you, this is your version of, um, finding your inner balance, finding your inner compass to point you in the North direction. And I think you've come to this realization and now you see it so clearly, so crystal clear and it makes you happy because it's giving you something to look forward to Gemini, right? And this is bringing back your, your balance in your life because you're seeing that parts of your life were stuck. They weren't moving. Uh, you were in this chariot that's in reverse. Like your life wasn't moving forward. It had stagnated. Yeah. Four of cups. You were bored. You're indifferent. Uh, this person that you were dealing with, it, it, it wasn't, it, it was unrequited love page of pentacles and the magician. Ace of cups in reverse and the four of swords in reverse. Okay. For those of you where this is a love reading, you're finding that there was no fresh new start in love here, or you're rejecting the fresh new start in love because honestly, you haven't healed from a past circumstance. All right. This is why you're manifesting or you're trying to manifest something different, something new. Um, seven of swords. Yeah. So you're strategizing an exit plan. Um, so you're not accepting whatever offer you're being given by something that you've, that has stagnated you. So if it was a job and you're bored and you don't want to do it anymore and they offer you something new, you're like, no, I, I need to heal from you and this place because it's fucking toxic. Uh, others of you, it's a relationship. You're like, no, I was like, I have to heal from my past. I realized that in order for me to manifest something that has actual potential for me. Um, and Ace of Cups is just not going upright. Let's continue. So you're strategizing an exit plan or someone here is ghosting. The Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles in the Cross Position. This is something, if, if this is work-related, because I, I do see a lot of work-related issues here for you, Gemini. The Eight of Pentacles in the cross position, it's like you're working hard. You're working towards your craft and your hobby and this and that, but you're challenged to do it because, I don't know, you, you're just like, I don't feel it anymore. Um, so you're taking a risk to do this new thing. Yeah, because you, if this is love-related... 
you don't, you're, you're finding yourself not putting any more effort into the situation and you're going after something brand new, something solid. What's the eight of swords, but you feel stuck. I see why you're torn to, to, to make a choice in the direction or the course of the direction of your life. Five of swords, two of swords. You're ruminating over something in your mind. You're going over and over again because it's a tough call. These are all swords. Swords are mental, right? And because they're all following your advice position, it's a bittersweet moment in your life. You win some and you lose some. Um, just because you lose some, it doesn't mean it's not a life lesson. It's just you move on from this situation. And the two of swords is you really need to de decide on the course and the path forward uh, or you will be stuck, right? So you, you need to stop fighting with yourself in your mind. You need to look at other things that are abundant in your world. Anything else for advice? Five of Wands in reverse. There's no point in fighting for something or arguing either. The roadblocks, obstacles, and challenges will open up for you. You will make an, be able to make an easier decision. Meditate. Meditation always works. All right, so let's see. What is uh, Five of Pentacles in reverse and Page of Cups? But you do need to make some sort of sacrifice, your advice, and make a choice. It is what it is. It's not all, always going to be the same every time we take a new path in life. Listen, you are going to come in from out of the cult because you have justice here. So if you're if you're in court, you're going to win. Um, it's not huge, but it's something. Angel de la Nawi. This is a card that I wrote on um, guidance, love, and compassion. And the six of wands. The scales of justice will write themselves. That which was unfair for you will become fair, right? And the six of wands, someone's going to vindicate you and validate you, your successes. This, If this is love related, this person comes back and texts you, sends you an email, I don't know, leaves a message and makes you feel like you're hood, you're heard, you're, you're you know, that they listen to you. This is them coming back. This is also for those of you, this is work related. You're coming in from out of the cold because you're getting some kind of small offer or another offer. This looks like guidance though, like an apology of some kind. Oh, I, 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 I wasn't listening to you before. So here's another offer. Do, 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 do. They come back. They come back. Eight of cups in reverse. The moon. If that's a good judgment call, unclear. You're, we're going to have to see next week's reading. What's going on here for um, Gemini? You deserve love. You know what that tells me? I, even if this is not about love, say this is about work or friendship or family, this is somebody that you're dealing with that doesn't fucking deserve you, Gemini, because you deserve love. You've been shelling it and dishing it and have not been receiving it back. All right, if this is in love, you are lovable. Don't think you're not because of your past experiences. Your past experiences are not in your existence today or tomorrow. You have yet to meet so many people who are going to love you. There's a lot of people who are going to love you. You just haven't met them yet engagement you're going to be engaging very soon with someone interesting let's get some cards here from the unicorns what does gemini need to hear these are a little bit salty but you know such is life sometimes we have to hear a little bit of reality <laughs> winning that's a good one you got a good thing going don't don't ruin that shit you equals tight ass Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. <laughs> it's pretty funny. 
Let's get one more card from the Wisdom House tonight. So it looks like you're trying to leave someone or something and they might try to pull you back. But I see you also taking a risk to do something new. Lust. All right. This is not an easy card. I will say that. My dear one, when the symbol of lust comes before you, beware that when you toy with this energy, you might be consumed by it. Here is a fine line between desire that is pure and obsession that arises in the insatiable thrill of danger. Be careful that your desire remains good and that your wanting doesn't cause hurt to yourself or another. It's best that you move cautiously forward. If you're asking about a relationship, you might be developing an obsessive fever that will take a long time to recover from. Ask yourself, what is the nature of your desire? Why do you want this so badly? Beware, there is always a hidden agenda in lust. What is yours? Okay. All right, Gemini, this is what I have for you this week. I hope that helped. Please leave me your comments down below, and I will see you on the next one.